Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you all hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, that link I was showing and after that I think I lost uh, the you know audio connection for a minute. So that's fine. <coughs> so uh, I think Renu your uh, question got answered, right? You're fine with it. All right, thanks. Um, yes, you can. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is validation rule. Validation rule is very simple. Vijay, I'll come back to that thing. Uh, so, validation rule is very simple. What is validation rule? Validation rule is defining a rule there and defining, uh, you know, a certain limits of the valid data. That this data should be allowed to be entered and this data should not be allowed. Right. Let's say you want, your company says that, okay, any product cannot have a price less than $50 and it cannot have a price more than $500. That is the range. So, what we have to do? We have to go to objects to define the rule. We need to go to objects. So, it's a rule actually. It's a different rule which is applied on an object. So which object are we talking about? We are talking about product object. So go to the product object. This time it's a rule, it's not the field. The formula was a field. This is a rule. So if you just scroll down a little, right after your custom field section, you will see validation rule section. Click on new. So define a new rule on this. What is the rule? minimum price rule you have to make the rule active in case you want that rule to work okay sometimes you want to create the rule at but you don't want that rule to work that at that time you should just keep it inactive but uh, we'll keep it active for now and this is where we have to define our logic using a formula expression and here I will need to define an error message right so what I say price should not be less than $50 means whenever the price is less than $50 it should throw an error message right so just say read this one this will help you if this formula expression is to display the text defined in the error message area so if price less than 100 throw an error price cannot be less than 50 sorry we'll talk about 50 and just save it where do you want to see the error message top of the page or beside a field so let's put the error message on top of the page it's fine save it so we have defined a rule where we have clearly mentioned that if price the condition is if price less than 50 it should throw error. It should not allow the record to be created and it should throw this error message. So that is the validation rule. Now you go to products, try to create a new product.
with forty dollars. Try to save this. He throws this error. I put a price which was less than fifty. It did not save the record, and it shows me this error. Price cannot be less than fifty. Invalid data. So, which means the data is not valid. So, it's completely you know up to you because it's your business or your data structure. So, you will have to define or you will have to decide on what. Will be valid data for you. What is invalid data for you, right? We can define that rule so that by mistake also someone does not enter an invalid data, something which is not valid that is not being entered, right? So it helps uh, to control a lot of human errors. So here, if you see in this validation rule again, what we are using, we are using the function or the formula kind of expression, right? all those functions are available here also so for defining your invalid data criteria you can use these functions as well right and then just define the error message so if you spend some time on the formula that will also help you in the validation rules right you can define complex rules and all those things but initially start up with small simple rules and then you can get into complex thing that okay fine 10% of this is less than 50 that sort of thing got that okay so this this is about formulas and validation rule uh, you will uh, just need to spend some time on the formulas and validation rule try try to create simple ones i think this product object is available with everyone or uh, we discussed about gift box application product object all of you must have created so you, you can try creating a few formulas around it few validation get some idea on this and then you can you know uh, try doing it on other uh, objects also right let's say project uh, in the uh, other application that we designed for project management There was a field called duration of the project. So, if you want, uh, you can uh, play around with the project duration. That if the duration is less than 40 hours, should not be allowed. If the duration is more than 500 hours, it should not be allowed. Uh, that sort of things. Hmm? Okay. Uh, there is one question that I got from Vijay saying that uh, this formula will change, will be applied on new records only or on existing ones so as well. uh the formula will be applicable on all the records which are there in the object so existing one because the field is being added for everything right for all the records so existing one so that will be the field is being hmm. i i have a doubt uh, in case if um there is a uh, thing like we have to enter a pan card number which is alpha numeric or any other number which is alpha numeric then we have to give this um syntax all together in one uh, validation rule or we have to create two three validation rules for it so what is the syntax of a pan card number what is that to decode that first and have to understand what sort of logic that is have to understand what sort of logic Like first three characters uh, should like first three uh, characters should the should letters and next three should be number something. Letters. Yeah. And next three should be number something. You can put it in one also. I mean, if it is just about one field, you can put right. it in one and multiple <laughs> logics there. You can put it in one also. And statement can be used. Put it in one and multiple logics there. Okay. And statement can be used. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. 
so but uh, we'll have to understand what sort of logic will be right for it under one also we can do we can put multiple logics under one validation rule put and logic there you put and you can put multiple criteria because anyhow it is going to affect one field only right so let's check one field only so you don't need two validation rules for that single validation rule will do and vijay does that answer your question i mean your question got answered that will be applicable on all the existing record type. yes uh, but i thought in a scenario where we try yeah but uh, like we already entered some data and we realize there is a change in that so good right that will apply apply to all the all the existing data right yeah that will apply to all the existing data so that is the other question that i was expecting so in case you are putting a formula on an object and you don't want that formula to be applicable on existing records then it's quite a simple thing in that formula whatever formula you are putting like i said price uh, tax equals to price into uh, whatever 10% of the price tax equals to uh, price into 0.1 there put one if logic and say if created date is greater than today's date so all the records which are already existing in that system will not be included in that if logic right that makes sense to everyone in case there is a function or a formula that i want to apply only on the records which will be created uh, you know from now on i don't want that formula to be applicable on the records which are already there in the system so there is a created date field there right so any record which is already there in the system must have a created date before today's date just put our logic there that fine all right clear with everyone